he has written some of the most iconic love stories of our time. Is it me? No, Al. Oh. And to be honest, when you heard me say love stories, who'd you think? Nicholas Sparks, am I right? I know I'm yes. right. I know I'm right. Well, guess what? Nicholas joins us live on the show, and he's here to chat about his new book, The Wish. Welcome to the show, Nicholas. It is so great to have you. How are you? What's up, Nick? Nick. <laughs> yeah, hey, thanks for having me. It's a lot of fun. I appreciate you letting me on. Absolutely. I like your mahogany uh, background, that bookshelf. Let's get to it. All right. Yeah. So, so what these are? These are actually uh, my books uh, in various foreign languages. I think I published in about fifty different foreign languages, and I don't know. There's what twenty-four books now. So, Dude. about a thousand books in here from all around the world, and I, I can't read any of them right. because you know I don't know that many languages. Basically, you know the love language, and that's a flex. That's a huge that is a flex. Huge that's a huge flex. flex, sir. I bow down. Can you imagine somebody saying, "Nice uh, bookshelf"? You're like, "Oh, these are all my books." Those are all mine. Anyway, you were saying. Uh, <laughs> now, I do want to know. Your books are based on true stories from your family, and I want to know: Are you as really so romantic in real life as the characters in your books yeah of course I, I love a good romantic date I I, I think uh, you know uh, life is uh, about experiences and you know you know I'm all for hey we'll go to dinner and you know maybe have a glass of wine or something like that but you know I I also enjoy things like let, let's uh, let's take a walk and, and hopefully we'll, we'll see something magical out mm. there. I remember one time, you know, it was almost like, uh, it was, it was like almost like out of my books, right? We just got off the plane. Uh, we end up on this little Island and we're so tired. We say, no, no, but let, let's walk and let's go get some, some time, you know, let's go get some fresh air. And as we're walking suddenly down the beach, the whole, island there's nest after nest of of baby turtles mm. hatching right which of course is like right out of the last song one of the novels i wrote and in the, over there over the horizon there's a rainbow Ugh. and yeah it's it's nothing that that planned but you know there was there was definitely magic and romance in that moment and of course i you know we try to do romantic gestures as well cute this guy's this guy's writing a novel as well so right into now. It. It's amazing. So let's stay on romance. People love that. Should the man or the woman take the lead on romantic gestures? You wrote the notebook back in 96. Times have changed. Things have evolved. Has your writing as well? Interesting. Uh, sure. Okay. A couple questions there, right? Uh, yeah, my writing has evolved, I think, right? All right, we have some oh, technical difficulties. He was, I think he was about to ask me to star in his next movie, and it <laughs> yeah. fell out. He yeah. fell out. So hopefully we'll get him back. I get that part. Of course. I mean, but it, it, it just, as he was talking, you know, my first thought was he was a man that seems like early on in his life he decided to steer into being emotional, especially in 1997. Men didn't do that. We we're gruff, and we don't cry, and we don't hug our kids, and they up stiff upper lip. And you look at how happy and how evolved he was as a opposed to a lot of men that unfortunately, because of how they were socialized, didn't get a chance to do that, didn't get a chance to say, hey man, I'm sad today and I don't know why. I agree, let's I like take how sensitive he is. We do have him back. Oh, don't be go. sensitive that I cut you off. Thank you for coming back. Please answer Jeff's question, we apologize. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So uh, you'd like to think your writing has improved, right? I've been doing it for a long time, but I will say this though, it's just as hard to write a book now as it was way back then, I don't know. Uh, you know, you, you try to always improve. So the challenge is just as high. I still rack my brain trying to come up with good stories. And as to the other question, romantic gestures, you know, I think it works best when both people um, uh, do romantic gestures. But really, like, the, often the best kinds of romantic things are just showing the other person that, that you're thinking about them when you're supposed to be doing something else, yeah, right? That's a good it's a call. text from work saying, hey, thinking about you, looking forward to seeing you, looking forward to a great dinner tonight. It's things like that, and I think. Oh. Hang in there, hang in this there. This is like oh. a movie you don't I want to know, uh, when we get it back, does he really believe that stuff? I think so. I think so. And when you write like such. Like hold hands at dinner? Come on. Look, a lot of people are old school, and I will say that our my parents have been married 50 plus years. Your parents have been married 50 plus. And your parents were married for a long time? Uh, about seven years. Oh, okay. Yeah, that didn't you should have done me first. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. I'm just simply saying old school romance, I think, is 
a classic and will never ever die. And when you write something like, for instance, The Notebook, and he's like, it's not over. It still isn't over. That hits on every level, every language, as you saw, yeah. everywhere, every age. Yeah, but I mean, listen, I love my wife. Do we have him back? He's back. Let's oh, get that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to jump in here, uh, Nick, do well. Nicholas, because, it, it, you know, our viewers obviously love The Notebook, and if I don't ask this question, they will kill me. So uh, do me a favor. We have a viewer here, and we're going to play your question now. Can you give me some tips on writing a love letter to my husband? Yeah, I can. Um, okay, the best way to uh, write a love letter is to, is to set the scene. Where are you? I'm in the kitchen, you know, at a, at, a, at a table, you know, the sun is going down, the sun is coming up. It's a cup of coffee beside me, a glass of wine beside me. You know, I find myself struggling for words. It's always a great line because it's hard to capture uh, everything that I'm feeling in this moment. Okay. There's a wonderful opening first paragraph and then wow. you go on. You say, me. when I close my <laughs> eyes, when I close my eyes and then go into some very specific memories that you share just the two of you. You know, it might be something about your honeymoon or the birth of a child or or just a, 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 a quiet night where she was crying or he was crying, he was very upset and you comforted each other. And you just kind of replay these moments and make them personal and explain why they meant so much to you. Do that for a few paragraphs, then consider yourself lucky. Uh, tell them why you're lucky. Thank them for being with you, and then that is one heck of a love letter. Bravo, Whoa. sir! Whoa! I just, I, just Bravo. Fell, I just fell in love. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna slide in those DMs. We better watch out, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nicholas, I'm so sorry about our technical difficulties, but thank you so much for chatting with us. And thank you, Sandy, for submitting your question. We'll be sending you a copy of Nicholas's new book, The Wish, yes. by the way, which is available now at any bookstore. We are all feeling the romance. It's not over, Nicholas. It's still not over. You we'll have right to come back. back, brother. That was awesome. <laughs> that was amazing. Bye, love. Thank you.